lovelies! Today's video is going to be a fall makeup look. To start things off, I'm going to be using two Becca primers. The first one is the Ever Matte Primer, just in my T-zone where I get really oily. And then the next one is going to be the Backlight Filter Primer. I just kind of wanted to try this one out and see if I liked it. For concealer, I'm going to be taking the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light, and I'm just going to be putting this underneath my eyes and then also on my eyelids to just kind of prime my eyes for the shadow. For foundation, I'm going to be taking my current favorite, which is the Lancome um, Taunt Idol, and this is in the shade 140N. Next, I'm going to be baking my under eyes, and I'm just going to be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm going to be putting this on with a damp beauty blender. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Tarte Smooth Operator Powder. For blush today, I'm going to be using my favorite one at the moment, which is going to be from Wet n Wild, and I believe it's called Apricot in the Middle, I think, but it's a really gorgeous, super like peachy shade. Now we're just going to pat in that excess powder and brush it off. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Glow Kit in Sun Dipped, and I'm just going to be taking the Summer Shade and putting that on the tops of my cheekbones, the sides of my temples, and then also on my nose and my cupid's bow. And the star of the show, the Tartiste Pro Palette the Tardis Tartiste whatever. This is like my favorite palette of all right now. It was the Rock the Rock Mega Pro 3. I loved that one and the Modern Renaissance, but this is my current favorite. It's so gorgeous. So to start things off, I'm going to be taking the shade Bold and I'm just going to be putting that in my crease as my transition color. Next, I'm going to be taking the shade Whimsy, which is my favorite color in the whole palette, and I'm just going to be putting that in my crease and then placing it on my lid as well, kind of blending it down and making And I'm just going to keep building up that color till I get the kind of intensity that I like. You can feel free to do the same as well. Do less, do more. You do you, boo. And I'm just gonna be taking a big fluffy brush and my other crease brush and just making sure that everything is nice and blended and seamless. And to add just a little extra pop in the middle of the lid, I'm gonna be taking the shade Ethereal, which is a gorgeous, like, coppery gold color. To deepen up the crease just a little bit and give it a little bit more dimension, I'm gonna be taking the shade Mod and just focusing this on the outer V's of my eyes. For the lower lash line, I'm just taking that whimsy color and just placing it in kind of the outer portions. And to brighten up the inner corner of my eyes, I'm going to be taking the shade Classic and just placing that in my tear ducts. So I filled in my brows quickly, so right now I'm just putting some clear brow gel on it. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Lancome um, Grandiose Extreme Mascara, and I'm just going to be putting this on my top and bottom lashes. I'm going to be using a liquid lipstick, so I'm just putting some Rosebud Salve Lip Balm on before I put anything on. And for lipstick today, I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Exposed Liner and Liquid Lipstick. And that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I 
loved filming it. These are my favorite tutorials to film. I love anything warm and bronzy. This is super easy to achieve. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. And every time it rains, it rains. Pants from heaven. Shoo-be-doo.